Greetings everyone! In today's video I'm going to demonstrate a way to grind the lathe chuck jaws using a router in place of a tool post grinder. The owner of the lathe was very kind to let me post this video. As you can see this setup uses the router clamped and secured in a tool holder. Piece of cardboard is there to divert the airstream away from the tool. I made the stone holder adapter or mandrel that serves dual purpose. It allows the use of quarter inch shank tool in a half inch spindle collet and extends the reach of the stone. The router is connected through the RPM controller to keep speed somewhat manageable. The controller is set at a minimum speed. This process creates flying in all directions debris and sparks that can be seen even on the camera later in this video. Needless to say that safety glasses is not something you want to skip on during this procedure. The first few passes reveal just how bad the difference between the jaws is. I did not take measurement before grinding, but it was surely in the order of 15 to 20 thousands. Now we see that while one jaw is being ground extensively, the other is barely touching. Slowly but surely the progress is going on and we see more and more surface of the jaws being ground. The feed rate is set to something close to 40 thousands per turn. The chuck speed is the lowest it will go. The grinding depth is 1 to 2 thousands. You will see me turn the cross feed by more than that but that's because crossfeed scale is set to represent the diameter, thus the actual movement of the tool is half of what's being displayed on the dial. I gotta say that preparing for this setup was much more fun than the actual grinding, which proved to be mundane and tedious. You might have started to wonder by now, where did I use the most important ingredient of this setup, the toilet paper? Trust me, it's there, I just don't show it. It's a secret of the trade. Nope not quite there yet.
Anyway, something like an hour and a half later, all jaws are uniformly ground and it's time to take apart the setup. Like I mentioned before, I made this adapter slash mandrel, and this thing worked out pretty well. Let's have another look at the router attachment clamps into the holder. The ring in this case is the outer rays of a 4 inch OD bearing. This piece of cardboard was there to prevent much of the dust from entering the chuck. Another thing I made for this project were these bushings slash spacers. They are inch and a quarter tall and made to fit in the counterboard hole of the jaws. These bushings and the ring are necessary to simulate the clamping tension that jaws experience during normal operation, so that the clamping surface would be ground equidistant and parallel to the rotation axis. After some slight and non-invasive cleanup, it's time to take a measurement of aftermath. It's certainly not perfect, which I attribute to the wear of the chuck itself and the difference between jaws location while grinding and clamping of the test piece. But it is definitely an improvement, one thousands. If you enjoyed this video in the raging pandemic that's going on out there and possibly learned something new, don't forget to let me know by liking, subscribing, commenting and sharing. Thank you. Have a great day.